All right. Hello, hello. Everyone out there? Can I get a hello from everybody? Thank you all for being patient. We are here now. We are live. Hey, all right, so without further ado, uh, we are the Engineering Student Council. Uh, it's not just me, we have a whole team on our hands, and I see that you've met them all in the YouTube comments. All right, so I see we got Mapu here, we got Niha here, but do not worry, you'll get to meet the rest. So, like I said, there's the aforementioned Mapu. Let's see here. Bump. All right, so we have Mapu here. Uh, she's very sweet and very kind. She actually organized a little giveaway for this presentation. So for those of you that have stuck with us this long, thank you. And if you stick with us a little longer, there'll be a giveaway at the end. And then we have a tool. He's the man. He's the boss. He's the secretary. He's always, uh, always so very helpful. And if I can get a little confirmation that you guys can hear me okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, and then there's me. I'm the dude with the camera. I'm the dude who's, you know, you can rely to kind of uh, embarrass myself. But no worries, I always take it like a champ. So if you've been with us for quite a while, like uh, some, uh, some officers of various organizations, uh, I know you've met us in the past. You've been lucky enough to meet us in the past. Um, we have been with the council relatively around a year now. Uh, Mapu... Mapu has been here off and on much longer than the rest of us, and so her her input and her leadership has always been really appreciated. Um, and then we have uh, some new officers that we're looking to introduce here, and those would be, uh, we have Niha, who's with us right now. She's the communications, and she has been doing such a marvelous job. Um, if you're an officer, it's likely that you've already met her through emails or uh, direct one-on-one -on -one outreach. Eileen, my name is Diego, if that's who you're asking for. Uh, and then in the middle here, we have Cigar. So all three, Niha, Cigar, and Eliza, uh, they've all been uh, taken on to the council. They were chosen and selected uh, for the council about two months ago, I would say. Um, and they've been doing an awesome job. Cigar is helping us uh, construct the next events, um, helping us with the finances. Um, hopefully, you know, we can get these, uh, what, what, what I would personally really like to do is, uh, you know, social distance meetups with other officers of other clubs and cigars helping us construct those. And then we have Eliza. I was the last marketing officer, so it was a little bit hard for me to let go of the position, but I'm glad that we have Eliza because she has been doing an amazing job and it's a huge relief for me. It's a huge relief for me to have some help on that front. Hey, okay, dope. So it sounds like you guys are able to hear me pretty well, and I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy to hear that. And then let's go ahead. I actually skipped a slide over here, and I just wanted to go over what we'll be talking about in this presentation. So, bop, bop, bop. So, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, but. You know, in this presentation, we'll be introducing the executive council board, the people that you that I've just introduced. Uh, we're going to go over our purpose. I know it's a pretty common question. You know, not only what is engineering student council, but what is a council? Like, what is our primary function? Um, just on a very foundational level, and then um, what events uh, will be happening? Um, whether it's the remainder of the semester, but we're also looking ahead to the next semester. Um, and then we'll also be hosting a giveaway at the very end of the presentation. All right, so with that out of the way, let's go bop, bop, bop. So I constructed this little diagram because I wanted to kind of uh, visualize what I, I see the council to be. So, you know, in the past, I've been, I've been pretty involved with like previous city councils. And if you guys have any experience with, uh, with the council, you know, council is really just a group of individuals who represent a community. That way, uh, they can, um, you know, they can help 
and give the people a voice. And so that's what we want to do. We want to be giving the engineering students here on the UT Arlington campus a voice. And so, you know, any any questions you have on YouTube, go feel free to ask it. I won't be able to see it right now just because I'm a little too distracted, but I will be getting to all your questions by the end of the presentation. So do not be nervous. Do not be nervous. Always reach out to us. Always ask questions. Um, and so here as the council um, on UTA, like we want to represent all facets of engineering. We want to represent freshmen. We want to represent graduate students. We want to represent uh, alumni. So, you know, even like throughout your adventure, you know, we want, we like, even when we graduate from the council, we want to, we want to connect with students on that level where we feel compelled to reach back out. But also, you know, we're very passionate about reaching out to the leaders on campus uh, through the student organizations. So I'm very involved with Moby, that's why they're represented here, but I'm also really involved with Cybersecurity Club. And then I'm also in close discussions with other organizations like Game Developers Club or the American Society of Civil Engineers. Um, we're also like, you know, it's our, it's our job to, to kind of be the connection, you know, the bridge between the students, the organizations, as well as the, um, all the way to the engineering faculty and staff. And so that's what I constructed this next slide for, is that we want to be able to give you guys a voice. You know, we want to consolidate all of your concerns, you know, all of your hopes, what the changes you want to see here on campus. And we want to, we want to be able to represent that in a very effective way so that it can be heard to up to the ears of the, on the top level, right? So, you know, we're, we're always in close uh, conversations with the advertising at College Engineering, with the Dean at College Engineering. And so we want to use our connections to, you know, not only help you guys be heard to the College Engineering, but help them be able to reach out better to you. Because let's be honest, you know, there's, with any, with any separation of generation, there will always be a disconnect. And that's not to say there's any, you know, problem, but, you know, we want to be able to assist, and that's what we're here for. Um, like, I, I, for, like, for an example, like, uh, like I said, I, I'm very involved with the, the Cybersecurity Club, and, you know, frankly, like, you know, our club, we've been just a little bit disappointed by the representation of cybersecurity on campus, but, you know, over the last year, um, even despite corona, you know, we've made efforts and we've seen successful change in getting like more cybersecurity opportunities here represented on campus. And it's thanks to our communications with the College of Engineering. So um, as far as the specifics to that plan, we've already discussed that with the, uh, the other leaders of various clubs. So right now I wanna direct my attention more to the students. So to students who are not officers, to students, you know, perhaps freshmen, sophomore, you know, you're, you're going through school. Um, we still want to hear what you think. We still want to hear what your concerns are. And that's why we want to engage with you on our social media platforms. And so I'm actually going to skip this. Boop, bop. Um, so on our social media platforms, you know, we have Discord, we have Facebook. But right now, I kind of want to focus on Instagram. And so on Instagram, we are uta.esc. And just a few minutes ago, I actually posted um, on our Facebook story. Uh, <laughs> I actually posted on our, on our Instagram story a poll. So if you go to our Instagram, if you pull out your phone, go on Instagram. And you know, these are, this is mainly for the people who are live with me here right now. Or if you see this soon after the recording. Um, you know, go to our Instagram story. We have a poll. Go ahead and answer it. And then that'll put you in the selection for the giveaway. And that's all thanks to Mapu. She thought it would be very nice to have some goodies, some engineering-related goodies for you guys, a good way to connect. Now, let me see about some feedback. I want to make sure the officers... <laughs> yeah, Mapu is like, not sure why we only hear it on the left side of our speaker. Um, that is completely my fault. This is a mono microphone. So, you know, if we if this ends up being successful, if you guys end up liking this format of a live stream, I will definitely go ahead and put, you know, we'll either use our stipend or my, my own money to upgrade this microphone uh, to better connect with you guys. And then, Mapu, I did not just skip your position. I'm sorry. If I did, 
Uh, Mapu, Mapu is the president of the Engineering Student Council. Um, she's our leader, and she's our very fearless and loving leader. And no, I, hype you, I don't hype you up too much. I hype you up the exact amount that you deserve. So, um, so the main takeaway, uh, go ahead and follow our Instagram, uh, uta.esc. And, I mean, you don't have to like Instagram. Um, we'll have our link for Discord, and you can also find us on Facebook. Um, on, on Discord, we have a lot of, uh, you know, that's where I'm more passionate in. So if you like Discord, don't worry, I got you. I'll hit you up, hit us up. And we'll be having, like, features, you know, to better get your voice heard, like polling and votes and whatnot. You know, I'm very passionate personally to have more of, like, a democratic environment here on campus. And so here's a little graphic I had for the giveaway. I wasted it, but that's okay. And I want to backtrack a little bit because right after this presentation, um, there is going to be a, a mentor meet. Uh, we've been publicizing this for a little while now, but uh, Lockheed Martin is having a, a meet and greet. So they're sending out their mentors. That'll be happening at 6 o'clock p.m. And um, if you guys are already here, I'll go ahead and get you a link. I forgot to put it on the slide here, but I'll put it in the YouTube chat. Uh, after I'm done here, I'll put it in our Discord chat. I'll put it on our, on our Instagram, just uh, the invitational link. And um, so that's happening now. Like, that's happening today. So that's in the very near future. But we also have, you know, looking to the horizon, we also have Engineering Week. And so Engineering Week is happening next semester. But, I mean, if you guys agree with me, I'm sure you feel it. That time just flies, right? So, um... We want to, you know, we want to start, you know, kind of pushing this now, not only to the students, but, you know, this kind of reaching out to the officers, you know, where, you know, we want to collaborate with the clubs to make this engineering week as, as, as successful as possible. And of course, for the students, for it to be as beneficial to you students as possible. So I hope you guys can be very excited for that. Um, go ahead and, you know, keep close touch with that. You know, we're going to be bringing a lot of clubs, a lot of organizations there to, uh, um, to make it, you know, as big and as grand as possible. And I believe that's all I have for you guys right now. Um, I try to keep this kind of short and sweet so that way I can look at the YouTube comments and we can kind of take some time to um, um, simply have a back and forth. I think Mapu's doing a great job already in doing that. So she might not even need my help, but I'm going to go ahead and take some time. So let me put this on the top screen so I don't lose you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's see. I love Engineering Week, yes. <laughs> Can we still have free pizza and shirts? Um, you know, I mean, we'll have to see what the environment is like at that point. But I know someone else just asked me... Um, for feedback in a separate matter, like, hey, can we have a uh, free donuts on Fridays? And I'm like, man, you know, fam, if I could, I would. And I'm certainly going to see if it's possible if there's some way to, like, socially distance giving away free food. Because um, that's something I love doing. I love to cook. I love to bake. Um, how does ESC feel about the temporary pass-fail policy for a limited number of courses in the fall 2020 semester? Um, I mean, I can't speak on behalf of the entire Engineering Student Council. Um, I'm more or less, I'm kind of for the pass-fail policy. I'm not sure if that's a controversial opinion. I haven't actually discussed this with a lot of people. Um, but I know I myself, um, I kind of allude to this in, in past, you know, workshops and presentations. But I myself, like, I work, like, two jobs, <laughs> right? So, like, this, uh, the coronavirus, the plague, like, kind of, like, this is, like figuring out how to work efficiently has been so impossible. So, I mean, if people need to pass fail, like I, and it benefits them, I think that's, that would be the right course of action. Um, I'm not sure if we should make this too political. I'll see what the officers are saying on this matter. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll up and see if there's any questions left. Is there a Twitter page? Um, actually, no. Um, Go ahead and let me know in the comments if you guys would like a Twitter page. But it's been our kind of consensus on the council that Twitter just kind of isn't our scene anymore. But, I mean, if demand is there, 
we'll go ahead and you know supply it um okay cool cool Abigail says, just be careful with that policy for future classes in your degree plan, and I completely agree with that. <laughs> Please hit subscribe. <laughs> I, uh, even though I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like a marketing dude, I don't know, I just do not like asking for people to like the video or subscribe, but I mean, um... I'll be hitting you all up one way or another. So if you don't get in, if you don't get it notified through subscription, I will be, I'll, I'll probably be in your DMs on Discord or something and be like, hey, you wanna you wanna come on the stream and ask some questions? I would really love that. Um, kind of scrolling up again, seeing. Um, I think that's all. Let's see if the, any of the officers have any. Anything we want to go over, but if not, like if you guys don't have any more questions, if there's nothing here for me, for more to discuss, I'll go ahead and be cutting this because I like to again, like I like to keep these uh pretty short and sweet. That way you guys can um, like that way you guys and also your friends and the other officers and other students can go back and watch this on their own leisure. They don't have to you know give such a time investment. I see Niha's typing. Let me see if she has any input on how we should end this stream. No, no. Let me hop on that. I see they're on the Discord call. Hello, guys. All right. Just another reminder to follow our social media for the giveaway. It is on Instagram. It's on our Instagram story. So react to the poll. That way you guys can be entered for the giveaway because I know Mapu would love to share with you her divine gifts. Um, any other upcoming events? Um, we just the mentor meet and then, you know, the engineering week next semester. The engineering week is probably going to take a big chunk of our, uh, of our, of, you know, the council's you know, time and effort. Other than that, um, we might have like, you know, small streams, like more like community engagements over winter break. But we'll probably be taking it kind of nice and easy for the next two weeks just because of finals. Um, Mapu is saying, I was trying to search this up, but this is from the Shorthorn about the student resolution about fall 2020 policy. But, I mean, if you have uh, if you have events, if you have ideas for things you'd like to see from us, um, go ahead and um, join our Discord. Oh, and I see from Eileen that she can't find the poll. So let's see, on our Instagram, I have this nice simple poll, are you wearing your masks in public? I'll go ahead and ask my officers if they see it, if there's any problems, and then I'll see what I can do to fix it, if it's on our end. If you have any doubts, if you um, just to just to play it safe, if you want to enter our poll, I encourage you to go ahead and DM us. Actually, I mean honestly, if you're just following us, I mean because let's be honest, like we like we we pretty much just started this Instagram, so like we don't really have any followers. So go ahead and just follow us, and like from there we'll select the the giveaway winners. Because if you followed us, we can pretty much assume that you were watching this stream. Um, and if not, like I mean, if you're following us and you didn't watch the stream, like 
more more power to you. So I think um I think with that I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Uh, I'm gonna be on Discord mostly, so I'll go ahead and uh, put that link also in the comments uh, on our Instagram. So whatever platform you pref uh, you prefer most, um, that's where you can reach out to me and the other officers. Um, if you are an officer of a club watching this, go ahead and reach out. Um, find Niha. Um, she is the person you want to talk to. You know, she's uh, the person we're putting in charge of, like keeping very close contact with your club uh, to better assist. All right, well, that's going to be it from me, everybody. I want to thank you again so very, very much. I know there's some technical difficulties at the beginning, but you were so patient with me, and I really appreciate it. All right, so that'll be all. Goodbye, everybody, and I hope you enjoy your Wednesday. Um, for the mentor meet, I will put the link um, on our Instagram, and I'll also put it in our Discord, so that way you can find it. That sound good? Okay. Bye, everybody. UTA.ESC is our Instagram. All right, thank you.